Day five of the Emergencies Act inquiry, we're hearing from Ottawa Councillor Diane Deans this morning, who at the height of the convoy was ousted as chair of the Police Services Board. Deans is testifying now at the inquiry. Let's have a brief listen in. So you, you were requesting uh, a greater, um, more insight into what the plan was yes. and what the operational plan was. Um, and you were not receiving it, correct? Is, is we're getting little snippets, little snippets, but we weren't getting a whole plan. Yeah. Yeah. Did the board, how did the board push back? You know, presumably when it was not getting what it was asking, how, how does the board push back? Well, I think you can sort of see it in the flow of information and in the, in, in just the information you put up here this morning that it was getting like, okay, now I want it. I, I want the number. I want the resource requirement. I want the plan. I want it. I want to see the details. And it was like that. It was, I think it was growing as we went along that we were realizing we weren't getting information. And I have to say through this commission, I've realized there was a lot more information the board was not privy to that the city was. It was very frustrating. And Okay, and that's CTV, or that's, sorry, that's uh, Diane Deans right now who is testifying at the Emergency Act inquiry about what she experienced during the convoy. This is the middle of her testimony. CTV's Katie Griffin has been watching over the course of the morning and joins us now live with more. Katie? Well, Matt, Diane Deans says she spoke to then Police Chief Peter slowly every day, sometimes multiple times a day, and quickly felt that this protest was not going to be like anything the city had seen before. She says this one felt different, but that slowly said protesters and trucks would come and go. However, on the same day as a board meeting ahead of the first weekend of the convoy, the OPP sent out a situational awareness bulletin warning that organizers intended to stay on Parliament Hill until mandates were repealed. They were going to uh, do disruptions and had no date to leave. Dean says she wasn't aware of that document or the warnings included in it, but that it would have been important information to have. Here's more of one conversation Dean says she said that she had was slowly. The more I was watching this, the more concerned I was getting. And uh, he, he said to me, what are you so worried about? And I, I, I told him just what I told you, the, the number of trucks, the size of those trucks, the amount of money that they have. And, and he, he said that he would be surprised if they were still here on Monday. And we know now that they did not leave on that Monday, digging in for weeks with growing numbers. And expect to hear later today about former Chief Slowly's resignation and Deans herself being ousted from her role as chair of the Police Services Board after she led efforts to hire a new interim police chief without consultation or competition at the height of the occupation, Matt. Okay, CTV's Katie Griffin live for us today. Thanks, Katie. And